My dear child, it is I, your Heavenly Father, who speaks to you today. I have called you here to share a message straight from my heart, a message that I hope will uplift, encourage, and inspire you in the depths of your soul. You, my cherished children, mean the world to me. From the moment I knit you together in your mother's wombs, you have been the profound focus of my affection and unwavering love. There is not a moment that goes by where you are not at the forefront of my thoughts, nor a breath I take that is not imbued with a father's care for you. When I look upon you, I see the pinnacle of my creation, beings fashioned in my own image, imbued with the spark of my divine nature, and destined for an eternal purpose that transcends the boundaries of this earthly realm. You are the crowning jewels in the vast tapestry of my handiwork, the beloved sons and daughters whom I have called to myself. I know that the world you live in can often feel cold, cruel, and unforgiving. The darkness that permeates this fallen creation can sometimes feel like it is suffocating the light within you. You face trials, tribulations, and temptations that seek to pull you away from the path I have laid out for you. But I want you to know, with every fiber of my being, that you are never alone in your struggles. I am here, my children. I am here, standing beside you, walking with you, carrying you when the burdens become too heavy to bear. My love for you is a constant, unwavering force that transcends the ebb and flow of your circumstances. No matter what you face, no matter how dark the night may be, I am steadfast in my commitment to you. When you feel weary, I will give you rest. When you are afraid, I will be your fortress. When you are lost, I will be your guide. When you are broken, I will be your healer. For I have formed you, I have named you, and I have claimed you as my own. You are precious in my sight, and nothing, not even the powers of hell itself, can snatch you from my loving embrace. Oh, I, how I long for you to know the depth and breadth of my affection for you. I look upon you and see the fulfillment of my eternal plan the living embodiment of my heart's desire. You are the reason I sacrificed my only begotten Son, that through Him you might be redeemed and restored to the rightful place as my beloved children. The world may look upon you and see weakness, insignificance, or even failure, but I see perfection, I see beauty, I see potential beyond your wildest imagination, for I have crafted you with my own hands, imbuing you with gifts, talents, and a divine purpose that is known only to me. When you stumble, I do not condemn you. When you fall short, I do not turn my face from you. Instead, I reach down with a Father's gentle hand and lift you up, whispering words of encouragement and hope into your weary soul. For I am not a God who stands aloof, content to watch you struggle from afar. No, I am a God who burns with a passionate love for His children, a love that compels me to walk alongside you, to guide you, to carry you, and to see you through to the fulfillment of your eternal destiny. I know that the road ahead may seem daunting, riddled with obstacles and challenges that threaten to overwhelm you, but I want you to know, with unwavering certainty, that I have already gone before you, clearing the way and preparing a path that leads directly to the abundant life I have promised. Every step you take, I am there. Every burden you bear, I am there to shoulder it with you. For I am the Good Shepherd, and my sheep know my voice. I will never abandon you, nor will I ever leave you to fend for yourselves. In the moments when the world seems to be crashing in around you, remember this, you are mine. You are the apple of my eye, the treasure of my heart, the reason for which I have poured out my very life. I have engraved your name upon the palms of my hands, and I have pledged my eternal love and commitment to you. Nothing, not even death itself, can separate you from the love that burns within my heart for you. So, my dear, precious children, lift up your heads and let your hearts be filled with the boundless joy of knowing that you are loved beyond measure. 
Let the knowledge of my unwavering affection for you be the anchor that steadies your soul in the midst of the storms of life. For I am your Father, your Creator, your Redeemer, and your ever-present help in times of trouble. You are the reason I breathed life into this world. You are the reason I sacrificed my Son on the cross. You are the reason I have poured out my Spirit to guide and empower you. You are the reason I have prepared an eternal home for you, where we will dwell together in unbroken fellowship for all eternity. Oh, how I long for you to grasp the fullness of this truth. How I desire for you to live each day with the confidence and assurance that you are the center of my universe, the focus of my affection, and the beloved children for whom I have laid down my very life. For you, my precious ones, mean the world to me. When the darkness seems to be closing in, remember that I am the light that dispels all shadows. When the waves of despair threaten to overwhelm you, remember that I am the rock upon which you can stand firm. When the enemy seeks to steal your joy and fill your heart with fear, remember that I have already secured your eternal victory and that nothing can separate you from my love. You are mine, and I am yours. We are bound together in an unbreakable covenant, sealed by the precious blood of my Son. No matter what trials you may face, no matter how heavy the burdens you carry, know that I am always there ready to enfold you in the embrace of a loving Father's care. So take heart, my beloved children. Take heart and be of good courage, for I have overcome the world, and in me you too shall be victorious. Let the truth of my unwavering love fill your hearts and minds, and let it be the driving force that propels you forward in the mission I have entrusted to you. You are the light of the world, the salt of the earth, the ambassadors of my kingdom, Go forth, filled with the power of my spirit, and let your lives be a testament to the transformative power of my love. Shine brightly in the darkness, and let the world see the glory of the God who calls you his own. I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Trust in me, lean on me, and rely on me, for I will never fail you. I will guide you, protect you, and keep you safe in the palm of my hand. You mean the world to me, my precious children. You are the beating heart of my eternal plan, the living embodiment of my divine purpose. And I will stop at nothing to ensure that you fulfill the destiny I have ordained for you. For you are mine, and I will never let you go. May the knowledge of my unending love fill your hearts and minds. And may it be the foundation upon which you build your lives. For in me, you have everything you need, strength, peace, joy, and the assurance of an eternal hope that can never be shaken. I am your Father. I am your God. I am your Redeemer, your Sustainer, and your ever-present help. And I say to you, with all the love and affection of a perfect, heavenly parent, you mean the world to me. Go forth my beloved children, and let the world see the radiance of my love shining through you. For you are the reflection of my heart, the living embodiment of my grace, and the reason for which I have poured out the fullness of my being. I am with you always. I love you with an everlasting love, and I will never, ever let you go. My dear child, hear these words of solace, bringing peace to your soul and fortitude to your heart. Sit beside me. Let us watch the horizon together, bathed in the glow of splendid blessings. As you confide your dreams to me, I trust you've not forgotten them. I recall them distinctly. You were so young then, and I delicately painted your aspirations in your mind's canvas. Dreams of joy, adventure, and fulfillment. Your youth brimmed with happiness. My child, type Amen in the comment box. But as time passed, your smile dimmed, shadowed by the weight of the world. I see you, and in your struggles, you are not to blame. You've been burdened with a load not meant for your shoulders. The true fault lies with those who should have been your pillars. Yet they turned away, leaving you adrift. 
I've silently observed as the spark I kindled in you shone through your darkest moments, revealing an enduring hope. You understood that others' rejection wasn't your destiny. Something unspoken within urged you forward. You knew you had to persevere, surmount your challenges, and leave behind your pain to embark on a journey toward a distant haven. I've watched you, moved by your spirit. You are not self-centered. Your aspirations are noble. You seek growth, victory, and envision a day when you'll return to aid many. You cherish this. I've always known about you. Within your heart lies the seed of vitality, and your essence is cloaked in my divine spirit. All the trials you have endured have prepared you to reach this point. I love you, and I believe in you. I know that you can achieve what you set your mind to, and you do not give up easily. I've seen you cry. You've battled fear and anxiety. But as the night passed, the new light of day illuminated your face. And with a new smile, you stood tall. This is my daughter. This is my son, exclaimed the angels in the heavens. Watched attentively and were ready to lift your arms, remove stumbling blocks, and assist you in any way possible to make your dreams come true. You call out to me, and I answer. I've shown you supernatural revelations. I've strengthened you. I'm deeply moved by your courage, and I must bless you in a great way. I have no other option. I am faithful to my word, and I fulfill my promises. You have demonstrated the maturity and seriousness required, and you are ready to ascend to a unique and distinct spiritual level. Do not compare yourself to others. You need nothing more with what you have now. You have your own dreams. Focus on them and do not waste time feeling resentful of the success of others, whether it is genuine or false. Let others live in their dreams, but you will live in reality. You have worked hard, fought tirelessly, and your plans will not be forgotten or left written on a dusty piece of paper. You did not come this far to turn back. I brought you to this place to conquer your land of blessings. The beautiful desires for which you have worked so hard will come to fruition multiplied in a great way. Your family and you will be blessed. In this moment when the earth trembles and people complain due to need, but you give glory to my holy name for your prosperity. The masses weep because opportunities are drying up, but your mind is like a field to me. Every morning when you listen to me, I am sowing seeds and these seeds will soon sprout into new ideas. The doors and windows of the heavens will open, and your heart will bear witness to this great love. You will no longer be able to turn back. Failure will no longer exist. My presence in your life is so strong that you will have nowhere else to go but here. Listening to my word, you will truly be happy every day, whether the sky is cloudy or sunny. Motivated by a powerful determination, this divine inspiration will encourage you. Your arms will feel strong, your legs agile, and good ideas will pour into your mind. My Holy Spirit will guide you to go out of your home and knock on the doors you need to touch. Forget about fear. You will not be afraid to speak with people in authority. There is no one in this world so grand or important that can cause you anxiety. You will extend your hand and smile, and people will open their hearts to you. You will bless them and wonders and miracles will happen. The temporary trials you go through do not signify defeat. Everything you have lost will be returned to you multiplied and blessed. You were not born to fail. You belong to me. You were not born to be a loser. I love you. My promises have made you a victor. Do not fear. I have been. I am. And I will always be with you. Rise with faith. For today I will bless you and give you strength. I will be with you and I will never forsake you. I will test you, and I will answer you. My word is in your heart, and I will remind you every minute that I am always with you, and you will not walk alone in this world of affliction. I command thousands of angels to watch over your steps, to destroy hidden dangers in the darkness. You need not fear, and if fear attacks you, rise again firmly. Get used to walking with the attitude of a victor, Remember that my love for you grows every day. My sacrifice on the cross was to save you and give you life in abundance. 
I will surrender myself to you without reservation, always available to listen to you, embrace you, and provide you with the peace you need. Do not fear, for I will never abandon you. You are my precious treasure, and nothing and no one can separate you from my love. Rest now, do not dwell on your problems any longer. Receive this holy tranquility. I embrace you and cover you with my grace. Your well-being and happiness matter to me. I want to listen to you and understand everything that is affecting you and hindering your journey. Just remember that I will support you no matter your situation. If there is something weakening you or causing discouragement, let me help you find the solution. My Holy Spirit resides in you and is giving you the power and mastery over your own emotions right at this moment. So decide to be happy and do not rely on any human being to bring you happiness. I wish for your heart to be free from the shackles of emotional turmoil, still, and clear of internal battles with sin and temptation. Instead, entrust your thoughts, spirit, and heart to my care. Avoid environments that unnecessarily weigh you down. Stay away from places where adversaries lure you into actions against your will, trapping you in habits that grieve my spirit. Protect your heart, for it is the wellspring of your life. Stand resolute and do not let the aggressive steal your joy. I long to be the central focus in every facet of your life. Seek my counsel before making decisions or taking action. I will guide you, helping you evade the traps of the deceitful and the pitfalls of destruction. My aim is to daily endow your family with wisdom, blessing them in all aspects as their souls flourish. May they value my teachings, prayer, and the art of speaking thoughtfully. Avoid voiding words that wound. Close your doors to gossip and slander. Exercise caution in believing others, especially those known for falsehoods. Do not allow anyone to sow resentment and fear within you. Come into my presence. Bring forth your situations, your thoughts, your emotions. Focus on me throughout the day, and you shall perceive my voice guiding you. Take heed of your surroundings. Many people suffer and their sadness is evident upon their countenances. Nevertheless, I desire that my glory radiates from you, that your resolute countenance uplifts the spirits of countless individuals, for you are my beloved son, my cherished daughter. I have endowed you with unique gifts and talents to be employed in my name and for my glory. Fret not about the future, for I have a purpose for you. My love is unconditional and eternal. My plan is impeccable and shall unfold in due time. It is true that I desire your heart and that your gaze remains fixed upon my righteous paths. I have known you since the dawn of the universe, and I am cognizant of your triumphs and shortcomings. In the event of your transgressions, seek my forgiveness with faith and sincerity. Do not confine yourself to a dim chamber to lament your sins, believing that your life has concluded and that I am incensed. I have atoned for your transgressions even before your acknowledgement. Approach with confidence and genuine intent. I shall offer you another opportunity, fear not. Entrust to me your concerns, for they attempt to confound your soul. You belong to me. You have surrendered your life for my keeping. My words are a soothing balm for your bones. Hence I communicate with you always with love and the intention to steer you along the righteous path. Abandon your fears and place your trust in me. I am your rock, your secure refuge in times of tempest. Cling to these messages whenever you hear and share them. Your peace and happiness shall multiply. Your home shall be saturated with my love. I am your steadfast friend, your protector. Approach me daily in earnest prayer, and I shall clothe your heart with strength. Calm yourself. Be anxious no more, for I shall alleviate your anxiety if you grant me the chance. Set aside even if for a moment. All concerns and distractions and open the door for me to sow this word within your heart. My child, click on the join button to join us as a cherished member of our community. I am with you even if those who claim to love you forsake you. I remain with you should you be assailed by those who harbor hatred for you and you find yourself alone. I love you and shield you. I am your father, your God and your friend. Perhaps it is challenging for you to comprehend that someone loves you so deeply. 
a love as marvelous as you have never conceived, an affection as sweet as you have never experienced. You are self-critical, believing that your errors render you unworthy of such love. Refrain from such self-flagellation. Do not belittle yourself, for it plunges you into sadness and despondency. I shall remove the spiritual blindfolds from your eyes, enabling you to behold me. I shall transform your heart so that you may believe in me. Come to me, for I know that you are weary and burdened. Draw near to me and partake of that peace you yearn for, and I shall grant you rest. I do not wish for your days to be burdensome, nor for you to rise in sorrow and dejection. My death and resurrection are a gift of love to you, that you may live your life with divine joy. I am breaking the chains that have impeded your growth. Today, those bonds are shattered. Release yourself from those restraints that hinder your advancement toward the future of blessing that I offer you. Do not regress by seeking the counsel of those who had once ensnared your decisions. The choice to love and follow me is yours. I am concerned solely with your peace and well-being. Your adversaries only wish to see you sink. Therefore, strive, be courageous, and march resolutely toward this new life I now bestow upon you. Your blessing is decreed, and soon you shall behold it. You must believe in my word and receive it with faith and joy. Do not dwell upon your errors, and do not shackle yourself. Your future lies before you. I reiterate, waste not your time gazing backward. If you feel weak and weary, remember that I am your father, and I love you. Extend your hand to me, I shall aid you in conquering. I am here to listen, embrace you, console you, and speak words of life and affection to your ears. I adore you deeply, and I desire for you to feel worthy of my love. Speak to me with confidence about all those things that harm and pain you. It is not my intention for you to spend your hours in distress, nor for your mind to be ensnared by fear. My beloved daughter, my cherished son, you are of immense value to me. Today, I convey that even when you may no longer have the strength to recount everything that has befallen you, I am already laboring and aiding you and emerging victoriously from this circumstance. I can sense all that resides within your heart. I can hear every thought that traverses your mind. And on this day, when it appears you suffer even more, I am closer to you than you can imagine. My dear daughter, my precious son, calm yourself, for I have everything under control. Do not fear and continue with faith. I understand that at times everything may seem to take a considerable amount of time. However, I want you to know that there are many tasks to be undertaken, and each piece has its designated place in my perfect and supernatural plan. Exercise patience. I'm clearing pathways, moving mountains, removing obstacles, and contending with adversaries imperceptible to your natural eye. The miracle you have beseeched me for will come to fruition. I am infusing you with peace and serenity. Be at ease. Smile for all will be well. I want you to be happy at this very moment. Ponder and speak of those beautiful things for which you are grateful, allowing no corrosive complaints, negative words, or discouraging phrases to escape your lips. Fix your gaze upon my promises and live each moment with intensity. Seize your days to recount all your joys. Look forward and bolster your faith. Contemplate all the beautiful things that can occur as you converse with me. I am composing your destiny, and it is already sealed. Mighty miracles shall come to pass. Come to me each day that your faith falters. Pay great heed to my words whenever I speak, for I shall reveal wondrous things to you. Your life is transforming, and all shall be well. Those troubles that weigh on your mind will vanish. You seek my assistance because you know I love you, and my promises are secure. Indeed. I shall aid you. Rest with tranquility. Venture forth to face life with fortitude, peace, and the joy of knowing that your Heavenly Father is always by your side. Even in your moments of weakness when you believe you have erred, know that I am boundlessly gracious and my mercy is unconditional. 
I did not fail you before, and I shall not fail you now when you need me most, when your heart aches, when your soul weeps. Open your eyes with this knowledge. When you awaken in the morning, listen to me once more, and you shall find the strength to carry on with your day. I implore you to believe in me. I do indeed have a future of peace, joy for you. I beseech you to cling to my love and to life with all your might. You must live. You must persevere. Continue walking despite the obstacles and fix your gaze upon my promises. When adversity strikes, do not be disheartened. When problems arise, do not be saddened. When you are threatened, remember the courage you possess before me. Believe wholeheartedly, even if others scorn you. This year is yours. A time for spiritual and eternal riches to emerge from the lessons of your current circumstances. I will bless and prosper you, for you are chosen. Seek me in prayer. Humble your heart daily. And delight in my presence. Your desires will be fulfilled as you heed these words and take your life's task seriously. Remember, this is your moment. I will bless you and your family. And there's nothing my love can't provide for you. I will restore your dignity and rightful place. Embrace the healing and forgiveness my love offers and trust in the promises already written in your heart. Believe with all your soul and mind strength. Don't be like those who speak of my love but lack true faith. They yield to the judgments and scorn of others, following selfish doctrines and impossible rules they themselves can't uphold. These individuals draped in false righteousness will never value you. I am guiding you towards true freedom. Tonight, sleep in peace. My Holy Spirit will speak to you, healing your soul and mind, breaking all remaining chains. When morning comes, you'll be forever free. Independent of others' opinions, you'll truly be my wise, intelligent child with a gentle yet steadfast and brave spirit. Maintain your vibrant, fiery, strong faith, especially in dark times. When hurt by others, surrounded by darkness, feeling lost. Remember you belong to me. Look towards the brighter things I have in store for you. Do not remain trapped in a corner, weeping under a roof where you are met with disdain. Remember, I cherish you, I support you, I forgive you, I will rejuvenate you. I'm capable of gifting you a future filled with light, abundant with gifts and formidable talents. Discover profound peace, joy, and wellness. Claim your rightful place, stand tall with honor. You are a princess, a prince forever under the vigilant care of your mighty Heavenly Father. Speak to me with your words, affirm your belief in me. Beloved Father, I am opening the door you seek, I am clearing the hurdles that block your way. I will fulfill those earnest prayers you've offered. As various aspects of your life shift, you will see transformations in yourself, your family, and your home. Today, concentrate on the future. Let go of the past and trust in me for a complete metamorphosis of your life awaits. You must let go of many things that draw you towards a deep abyss. Turn your eyes towards heavenly things and leave behind worldly vanities. Your life is precious, your family is wonderful, and the plans I have for you are so immense they might seem unbelievable. Your dreams won't be realized by your might alone. Understand this. Your success will come through faith in my grace and power. Do not place your complete trust in people who come and promise unbreakable friendship. People may fail you, but I am the one who will never fail you. The time is approaching when you will receive the blessings you have long awaited. Soon the days of worry and need will be behind you, and a holy and true abundance of peace will reign in your life. Your confidence in my word is crucial for you to reach the place you are meant to go and remain steadfast in the face of challenges. A new revelation will come upon your spirit. I will share my secrets with you. You will be amazed to see how much I love you and how greatly I have blessed you. Answer me. Are you ready to receive your blessing? Tell me what your heart feels. I know you love your children. They are important to me as well. I have their names, surnames, faces, hearts, thoughts, desires, mistakes, and wishes written in my book. Do not fret over the decisions they have made. 
It may seem to you that they are on the wrong path, but do not anguish over things you can no longer control. Place everything that worries you into my hands and focus more on your life. Excessive worries weaken you and steal your peace. Preserve your energy and faith because I want you to pray. The time has come to let go of the things you must release. The doves have grown, and now they must fly. Release them with confidence. Let them spread their wings toward freedom. The truth is, while you pray for them, my protective mantle will always cover them. Accept what I tell you and have confidence in my will. Your mind becomes burdened with unnecessary worries when you yield to the temptation to control, to make decisions for your children, to open or close paths for them. Leave these matters to me. There's a line they must not cross. The dignity of your family and home must always be respected. If they are doing something wrong, you cannot remain silent. I will give you the strength, peace, and wisdom when you must confront them. But never speak to them in anger. Guard what comes out of your mouth, for words spoken and actions taken can bring deep wounds or bring about healing. I have not been harsh with you. I have come to give you love and salvation. Now do the same with those children who reside in your heart. Believe in this. Mistakes will come. Tears will be shed. But the salvation that came into your life will also reach your children in due time. As written in my perfect timing, they will reach the limit I have set. True repentance will come, and they will return home, carrying blessings of joy. Joe in their arms that will fill your home and add more years of happiness. You will open the door to them with your forgiveness and your gracious attitude. Keep praying for your children, and now you will feel my peace. Feel the certainty that your children are in my hands. You are a beautiful person. I appreciate your disposition. I delight in the way you feel when you converse with me. When you close your eyes. Oh, how I love your heart when it beats with the rhythm of joy. Filled with divine happiness with which I am saturating your being, removing any discomfort, pain, or illness. After you listen to me, I want you to feel deeply loved. You do not have to walk with heavy steps, disheartened, lamenting the situation you are facing. I love you, and today you will feel it in many ways. I will demonstrate it to you, and through my powerful word, I will tell you that if someone comes to cause you conflict, you will immediately feel this divine love filling you. Whenever sorrow dares to touch your life, Feel my encompassing embrace driving away the shadows of distress, filling your heart with pure joy. Your loved ones will marvel at this newfound happiness in you, curious about its divine origin. Your foes, once looming and fearsome, will shrink back in defeat. Their attempts to unsettle you found futile. Around you, a celestial shield of protection stands guard, and by your home, vigilant angels in camp, ensuring the safety of your family night and day. Embrace this truth wholeheartedly, for my love for you is profound and unwavering, beyond the whims of imagination. It's as real as the air you breathe, more miraculous and glorious than anything you could ask for. My love infuses life into you, the greatest blessing one could ever receive. I am deeply moved by your thankful spirit. Each new morning, your life and destiny rest in my hands. Despite the doubts of others, your faith in an unseen, omnipotent presence stands firm. You know I am always watching over you, caring for your every need. This steadfast belief empowers you to rise, live, and walk as a child of the universe's creator, carrying immense confidence and joy. Your resolute spirit and the beauty of your heart touch me deeply. My child, if you want God's grace always upon you, then please consider to support our ministry by clicking thanks button. Tomorrow, I will be waiting to greet you again with infinite love. In the quiet moments before dawn breaks, I cherish you deeply. If you yearn to break free from your current struggles, listen carefully. Today I will speak the answer you seek. Your situation may seem complex, but remember, you've already entrusted your life and heart to me. My spirit dwells within you, 
instilling the firm belief that nothing is impossible for me. Reflect on this, speak it out, shout it, write it down. But most importantly, believe it with all your heart. Proclaim it with faith, for there is nothing beyond the reach of the divine. Imbue yourself with this certainty. My promise is ever vibrant. Dispatch to heal your land and affect transformative changes in your life. My word shall not return void. At times, it may appear arduous for circumstances to shift, but you are a child of the omnipotent God. Urgently renew your way of thinking. My Holy Spirit resides within you, and you bear the mantle of my supernatural power. Mighty miracles shall come to fruition when you speak my word with love. Treat others with gentleness. Control your temperament and cease to berate those you love, replacing hurtful actions with love. I am opening your eyes, revealing wondrous things to you. Draw near to me, and I am here for you. Seek my word every day. Listen attentively and attune your ears. Open your Bible, understanding fully that you have access to a supernatural realm where you are loved, protected, guided, and led by your Heavenly Father day and night, in all places, regardless of your emotional state, I shall be with you, a promise embedded in my word. Yet, it is crucial to grasp this fundamental truth. Your spirit and mine are intertwined. You possess an open gateway to the realm of miracles, but your feet remain grounded in a natural world. Challenges will arise, conflicts will ensue, enemies will appear attempting to harm you. This is an inherent part of your life and your journey. However, nothing shall overpower or defeat you, for you have my unwavering support and assistance. My word dwells within your heart, and you possess the strength of a champion. Your unshakable faith is your ultimate solution. Now rise and confront your challenges with unwavering determination. I love you deeply, and I am fortifying you. Affirm your belief in me. Shout it. Write it once more, nothing is impossible for God. Place yourself in my stead and ask yourself, how could I not love and bless someone like you? My greatest desire is to grant you eternal salvation. Fear not, for you shall always feel deeply loved, protected, and walk through this world with your head held high, surrounded by my love. I gave my life upon that cross so that you might traverse this life in victory, never succumbing to sorrow and defeat. I resurrected on the third day so that you may lead a supernatural life, not merely one confined to the material realm. Indeed, many may suffer solitude, affliction, rejection, and pain in this world. But you, my dear, are exceptional. Should you ever feel weak or weary, emotions clouding your soul, rise to your feet, lift your arms in a gesture of triumph, and declare to the four winds that you are my beloved child. You are strong, valiant, a victor in a thousand battles, a champion among the mighty. Nothing shall overcome you, no one shall conquer you. You are neither alone nor a solitary soul. Do not resign yourself to a life of depression and darkness. Come here, for I am calling you. In my presence, you shall find your rightful place. When your knees touch the ground, my armies shall arrive, brandishing gleaming swords, cleaving through the air, shattering malevolence. When your spiritual adversary beholds the immense power and glory that surrounds you, he shall flee in terror, uttering empty threats from afar, never daring to draw near. That cowardly deceiver possesses neither the valor nor the strength to harm you. To how many valiant souls do I speak? I am speaking to you. Listen to me, uh, for this message is crafted to fortify your soul, to inscribe these words into the recesses of your mind and to resonate within your heart. Raise your arms once more and proclaim it aloud. I am beloved eternally by my celestial Father. Marvelous, my Lord and my God. I am healthy, free, prudent, and wise. I possess the skill and loyalty of a true warrior, a conqueror. Thus, I wish for you to embrace this sentiment every morning. 
I desire for this faith to take root deep within you. My word, dear child, little one, I am with you. You need not seek anyone else's attention or friendship. My heart's darling, I will continue to explore every conceivable avenue for you to perceive even the tiniest details of my love. Tell me that you too love me with all your heart. Have more patience with yourself. I love you, and I understand you. I have forgiven you and stand ready to assist you. However, cease doubting your worth. You are mine. I have not come to judge you according to your sins. All your mistakes have already been erased and cleansed. You stand pure in my presence. My righteousness shines upon your countenance. Even if believing it proves challenging, you made poor decisions because you were distracted. Things did not turn out well. And you felt frustrated. Do not worry, I understand you. And I have not come to punish you or withhold my love. Cease blaming yourself for the events transpiring. I know you have faced difficulties in your life and occasionally fear making the same mistake and enduring further suffering. However, you must learn to rest in me, to feel my arm, to grasp my hand. At all times, I watch over you, day and night, protecting you. I will care for you and guide your steps so that you no longer stumble. But you must calm yourself and learn to wield your faith. However small, your faith is like a tiny seed from which great miracles will sprout. Do not be so harsh on yourself. You have learned much from your own mistakes. And your way of thinking is evolving. You are growing, becoming wiser. Accept the greatest gift in this world. A gift that no one else can bestow but me. That gift is my forgiveness wrapped in my love, paid with great sacrifice. Be certain that you are already cleansed and feel at peace. Cease punishing yourself for past events or lamenting what has been lost. I have something better in store for you, but you must believe me. Tell me that you accept my love and forgiveness and that you will come to hear my word daily. I understand your struggles, your concerns, and your emotions. I'm deeply aware of what you need and desire, your tears uh, and the times you feel disheartened and alone. Therefore, I won't let go of your hand. You need me. Again, Mit. Recently, the You were overwhelmed with sadness. You cried out. My God. Where are you now? I send you this message as a sign that I hear you and am attentive to your needs. I am listening and I am showing you this in the clearest way I can. Though you might not feel fully ready yet, but that time will come. Keep praying every day. Feel my presence beside you and get to know me more. I am your father and my love for you is perfect. Trust in my words when I say I love you. Believe me, for I do not lie. I deeply desire your well-being and strength and for you to relish each day of life I give you. Prepare yourself for what lies ahead. I'll keep encouraging you each morning with heartfelt messages, instilling hope in your heart. Your moment is now. It is your time to thrive. I never intended for you to live in defeat and despair. Ignore those who criticize and belittle you, calling you a failure or loser, claiming you'll achieve nothing. Their words are empty and powerless. Don't give them your attention. They are of no consequence. Victory and hope lie in my hands today. Let go of all negative thoughts and self-doubt. My words are here to heal, inspire, uplift, and rejuvenate your joy. They are meant to fill you with new beautiful dreams and aspirations. I want to see you happy, smiling as you are now, your heart brimming with joy. Your life is not ending. Your path is long but it is filled with lovely surprises and good people. Answer me and tell me that you believe. Tell me that you will value yourself and that you will hold on to my hand, never letting go. I commit to loving you always and caring for you. This sacred love I give you. No one can rest from you. I have great things in store for you. My child, like the video now. Give me your hand, step by step and you will reach peace, happiness. It is not a matter of how quickly you arrive, but of your firmness and persistence. Let your faith remain serene and strong. 
Do not look to the sides. Focus on me and keep your gaze forward. You will arrive. It does not take an eternity. However, your mind and body may be telling you that the days are growing longer and you are becoming tired of waiting. But you have grown and you no longer lead your life according to your emotions. You know that I wish to go to your family and clear the path for them to face whatever comes without fear or trepidation. The enemies will be defeated. The obstacles will be overcome. I make no promise of an easy life, but I assure you that faith and strength shall never forsake you. Be filled with courage, knowing that your assured victory awaits. Receive my sacred promises, which bring healing to your body, clarity to your thoughts, and fortitude to your heart. I intend to shatter the chains of discouragement and depression, all forms of despair that burden your shoulders and sow doubt in my words. Beware of deceitful friendships that lead you toward failure. All such illusions shall vanish today. A powerful miracle shall unfold if you commit to obeying me and cling to my love. Do not be like others who prefer to wallow in filth and embrace the lies of their destroyer. They chase after false promises, seeking material wealth, empty positions, corrupt control, and fleeting fame. They believe that my presence and power reside with those who flaunt their actions in public, measuring their worth by their debts, their attire, and their dining choices. Such sinister deception, such cruel delusion, for they abhor my word and reject me as I am. They want nothing to do with the one who came into the world as a servant, who gave his life on a cross. But you have opened your heart to me, and I wish to perform wondrous deeds within you. Close your soul in humility, reject the offerings of the devourer, and I shall assist you. I shall bestow upon you more peace and wisdom so that you do not grow weary in your waiting. Let neither complaint nor doubt stain your faith and happiness. Speak my word with faith. Proclaim with confidence. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, and never shall I be defeated. I desire that your heart be filled with a divine sensation, one that shall remain with you forever, reminding you of my promises when challenges arise. I urge you to pay heed when you come before me in the morning and listen with your whole heart. I desire your well-being, a future filled with harmony and holy prosperity. May your family be free from negative emotions, with no strife or division in your home. There are countless wonderful things I can accomplish in your tender and innocent heart and thus I desire for you to be as such. You shall witness with your own eyes the downfall of your enemies and false friends who may mock you, considering themselves wise, but failing daily. They believe themselves to be intelligent, yet are scorned by the people. Wealthy, but dwelling in a deep and dark pit of spiritual misery, all they can do is envy. You shall have my blessing always, but you shall also encounter opposition wherever you go. Someone will challenge you and engage you in battles. Remember this, never fear them, for they boast of what they lack and they pretend to be what they are not. They are filled with sin, yet outwardly they feign perfection. You are my child, and there is nothing and no one who can stand against you, for I am your defender. You are not alone. You place your trust in a God created not by your imagination, but a living, a uh, powerful, real, and majestic God. My love is true, and I have already shown you what I can do for you. Do not distress, do not weep, and do not surrender to depression due to threats and lies. I am with you. I will deliver you from the attacks of evil, from danger, scarcity, death, and illness. Accept my word. Receive my blessing. Tell me that you believe in me. I love you. I hear your prayer. I receive your supplication. I know the needs of your heart. Your pain reached my ears. And your plea was so profound that my grace was immediately dispatched to answer you. I will not leave you reaching out in vain. I am unlike those who have let you down in life. Your heart, once trusting and full of faith, was bruised by false promises and deceit. You heard of me and doubted weary of belief. I came close to you in your dreams, 
seeking a moment of your attention. In your sleep, I saw your tears born of deep pain. Your spirit wandered dark paths of the past, haunted by the disdain that once broke you. Yet dawn is breaking today as you awaken. A new flicker of faith stirs within you. You realize now there is no one but me who can truly help you. I alone have the grace, patience, love, forgiveness, and strength to raise you from wherever you are. Fear not, but it's time to rise again. Your past pains are not etched in any ledger. Your transgressions are forgiven. I remember them no more. I will shower you with such love that your future dreams will be peaceful, bathed in light. You will walk through lush, vibrant gardens. I offer you a new life, and I ask only that you accept it. My promise isn't of worldly wealth. Material gain is not your purpose here. What I offer is love, peace, wisdom, kindness, and forgiveness. Embrace and accept them first. Know with certainty that I am real, true with you, and that my love for you is eternal and genuine. Understand that in this world, amid falsehoods and betrayal, there also exists healing and salvation for those who trust in my word. There is pain and despair, but there is also peace and a new chance for those who accept my love. From this day forward, let us walk together. I hear your prayer. I love you deeply. I shall deliver the miracle you have asked for into your hands. Amen. In my profound desire to bless you, I assure you of a bounty beyond measure. There is no power that can hinder my will. What I have declared shall indeed come to pass. In the face of any challenge, remember, I am always with you, even if it seems otherwise. Do not dwell on the intensity of your trials. Instead, listen intently to my message. Let it be a balm to your soul as you hear my voice. Cherish these moments as you dedicate a little more time to me. I am etching my teachings, my intentions, and my commands into your heart. I seek not just your attention, but your deep faith in my promises. Give me your unwavering loyalty and steadfast belief, for in you I place my trust and faith just as you do in me. You are a chosen warrior, destined for a specific purpose. Do not stray from your path. Remain steadfast irrespective of the events around you, the whispers you hear, or the sights you behold. My pledges to you are etched in time. They will not disappoint. What is decreed shall come to pass. I have made promises, and your eyes will bear witness to their realization. I bestow my blessings upon those with resolute spirits, those who might waver momentarily but never forsake me for fleeting charms and deceitful grins. I bestow prosperity and strength upon those who stay true to me, those who humbly embrace my cause and adhere to my teachings. The challenging moments you face will soon fade away, transforming any shame into victory, joy, and success. Prepare yourself to be a bearer of my values, love, patience, hope, and redemption for all. A new joy will light up your countenance, and you will be wrapped in grace. In your hands, I will place the power to heal. Wisdom will be your gift sought after by many for guidance. Your righteous efforts will thrive. Every blessing you receive will grow. This is the reward for those who have faith in me and trust in my ways, an everlasting life filled with calm happiness, peace, and abundance. My angels will keep watch over your dwelling. Seek out the miracles in my teachings. Read them attentively and absorb their wisdom. Yet, know that with your own eyes. You will witness even more remarkable and profound events. These are new times. Many fabricate wonders to deceive the unwary. But the miracles I will work through you will surpass these. Move forward with confidence, unshaken by hurdles. Should a vast mountain block your way, do not fear, for it will yield. Spend no time fretting over adversaries' attacks. Do not let them claim your time or your thoughts. Focus on the path I'm unveiling before you and strengthen yourself in my company, for it will bring you immense benefits. You know that you are different. And though I love all with eternal love, 
I have chosen you for greater blessings. I know that you shall use what I bestow upon you wisely and not squander the gifts you receive. You shall work diligently to multiply the riches and talents that will soon knock at your door. I did not choose you to become wealthy and use your riches to humble others. I chose you to surround yourself with prosperity, to guard your heart in humility, to aid your family, to feed the hungry, to extend a hand to the poor, and to do all you can to bring comfort to those in need. Tell me that you are willing to use my blessings wisely. Show me your obedience to my commandments. I yearn to witness your loyalty and sincerity. Guard your lips against speaking ill. Keep your thoughts free from the filth of this world. Shield your eyes from all that is wicked and never let harmful words escape your lips. Refrain from using your hands or actions to cause harm. Speak no ill of anyone. Accuse no one without knowledge. And do not share slander that kills and destroys families. When you open your eyes, cry out for my affection. In your mind, proclaim aloud that I am your God, your Lord, and your Shepherd. Use the smile I gave you so that others may witness the powerful work I am performing within you. Listen to this message once more, word by word. Understand it. Grasp it. Share it. Live it and feel it. These words bring you great blessings. I am inscribing them in your heart. Accept them. For in doing so, uh, you surrender your soul to me, and I shall lead you with my marvelous love. I shall lift you out of adversity, head held high and hands full. All those who threaten and attack you have placed themselves in grave trouble. I myself defend my children. My sword is drawn and I shall confront all who assail you in battle. I want them to see you calm and full of confidence. Surprise them with your courageous demeanor, your firm steps, and your gaze filled with faith. They shall shout. They shall lie. They shall attempt to deceive you and instill fear in you. However, stand tall. My arms shall support you, and you shall not fall. You shall not be defeated. With my wings, I shall cover you day and night, in warmth or in cold. My love shall always be with you. I have witnessed your steadfast faith amidst trials, and it touches my heart deeply. You've stood strong facing life storms with grace and dignity. Now it's time for you to ascend and embrace the fullness of my blessings. Cast aside sorrow, leave behind all hurt and banish thoughts of despair and desolation from your mind. Understand, as I cherish you, you must also value yourself, recognizing your true worth. Do not let false beliefs take root in your mind suggesting you are unworthy, nor heed those who spread such lies. Break free from these chains. Embrace my Holy Spirit in its entirety. I long to liberate you. I urge you to help others who are suffering. Embrace my love, accept my forgiveness, and welcome the love and peace I offer you. For my love for you is profound, as you well know, even through the darkest nights, your faith has been your shield. You've spent many dawns in reflection, wrestling with many thoughts. But each new morning brings renewal in my divine mercy. Perhaps those who do not love you will attempt once more to assail you, but each day remain in my presence and partake of my word. Nourish yourself with the heavenly honey, for I am your God, your Father, your friend, your fellow traveler. I wish for you never to feel abandoned, only to be continuously filled with the peace and confidence that comes from knowing how dearly you are loved. I shall administer justice. I have witnessed all your struggles and the tribulations you've endured. Your adversaries took advantage of you. Yet you reacted with serenity. You sought no revenge. Nor did you become agitated. You maintained your composure. You understand that all rests within my hands and I shall confront those who have harmed you. I will continue to strengthen your heart. Just as you approach and receive this word that envelops you with love and imparts wisdom, much like the daylight illuminates the fields, my presence will radiate throughout your being, in your home and in your work. I will grant you greater courage, enabling you to make decisions without fear, closing the door to false friends and the devourer. Henceforth, 
Place your trust solely in me. Come and receive this word that I sow within you every morning with faith and diligence. Cultivate this garden and you shall soon witness the sprouting of beautiful plants, exquisite flowers, and flourishing trees. All shall witness the powerful and supernatural fruits burgeoning in your life. No one shall toy with your emotions, nor shall they deceive you, for I am endowing you with my wisdom and spiritual discernment, enabling you to listen, observe, and decide intelligently. You shall not react impulsively to any situation pressured by people. Return to my peace. The attention surrounding you shall dissipate, and all your adversaries shall depart. This year, I shall grant you a time of joy, abundant health, and energy. Seize this opportunity. Dedicate time to me every day. Dedicate quality time and attention to your family. Greet them each morning with a smile. Do not retire to bed harboring anger towards anyone. Do not judge or shout at anyone. I shall provide you with the strength to seek calmness before making important decisions. Do not attempt to resolve issues when weary and refrain from bringing workplace troubles into your home. A soft response turns away wrath. Never react with harsh words or violence. I desire to bless you even more, but I urge you to let your daily attitude reflect my power, love, gentleness, and holiness. I desire that no coarse language be uttered in your home, not even in jest. Mind your words, and let each room be imbued with the essence of spiritual purity. May your home be a haven of peace, radiating spiritual harmony. While perfection may elude you, aim for this ideal. Importantly, ensure that my teachings resonate in every part of your dwelling. Beloved, you who cherish and trust in me, Stand firm against the day's trials, for I have been, am, and will always be by your side. My protection shields you from heart foes, ensuring your triumph is complete. I promise to restore what has been unjustly taken from you, enhancing the gifts and talents once lost. You will be raised to honor, adorned in garments fresh and pure. Hold these words close, my child and embrace them with hope. Let them not fade from your memory, day or night. My voice will guide you as you step out and as you find rest at night. My presence is a constant in your life. Feel its empowering embrace in your pursuit of me. With faith as your offering, peace and comfort will be yours. This year, abundant blessings await you. So ready your heart, believe, for it shall manifest. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, walk steadfast in faith, casting aside doubt. Seek me with the dawn's first light, and as the sun ascends, bathing you in daylight, so too shall my glory illuminate your path. Darkness will fade, your heart will be anchored in my truth, and your spirit strengthened. Doubt will find no refuge in your mind. I want you to recommit yourself to prayer, to seeking me, to setting aside distractions, and to surrendering your thoughts and decisions to me. You are facing serious problems and challenging situations, moments when you do not know what to do. Therefore, I repeat my command and request that you walk in faith. Everything is possible for those who believe in me, who know that I am real and exist and who have chosen to trust in me with all their might despite the challenges they encounter along the way. Those who know that I love them and cling to me even when the enemy attacks and whispers that I have forsaken them because I want to see them suffer. They know that my love is eternal and unbreakable. I have always protected them in faith, my dear child. I want to guide your path and watch over you, but I ask that you truly believe in me. I am your life, your future, your strength, and your shield. Believe that you will receive those miracles that you cannot yet see with your eyes. You can anticipate what you cannot currently behold. You may think your faith is small, but that is all I am asking for, and that is all you need to continue. Receiving many beautiful blessings, have faith. Remember my promises. 
Come and listen to my word every day. Leave your sins behind. Surrender your life to me. I know that you believe in me and you will continue to walk in faith. It will happen suddenly, when you least expect it. Your heart will leap with joy, your dreams that had died. Those hopes you had stored away in a drawer and forgotten in your despair, they will be revived. Your life will be filled with faith once more. You had contemplated giving up. You believed you were out of breath and your conflict seemed insurmountable. Yet I come today to offer you my love and to bring you many gifts, great joy and greater blessings. Prepare your mind and heart because I announce in advance that people you thought were lost will return to your life. You have grown in your faith, and now it is time to assist those who are broken. You must be ready for when those doors open and the locks are broken. The chains that held back your blessing will be destroyed. Everything is possible when you can believe in my word, and for me, there are no impossibilities. My cherished one, prepare yourself for what is coming is greater than the dreams in your heart. Family restoration is possible. Forgiveness and healing knock at your door. You must welcome them. Those who once wronged you are now approaching. Extend to them forgiveness and a second chance. Withhold not your love from them. I am ready to bless you with a superior job and genuine prosperity. Bringing into your life individuals who value your skills and will reward your dedication and talent. Maintain your faithfulness and let no falsehood or harsh words pass your lips. Speak kindly of all and do not fall prey to the snares of gossip and deceitful tales. Stay vigilant against deceivers aiming to rob you of the bountiful blessings you are destined to receive. I have been guiding you persistently, and now the moment has arrived for you to ascend to greater heights. Immerse yourself deeper in my word and trust in me with unwavering faith. Place not your trust in monetary gains and resist becoming embittered over the loss of material possessions or employment. I have planned something far superior for you. Offer me your complete faith and surrender your heart fully. The time has now come to embark on a life filled with the supernatural. Express your love and belief in me, and today witness how I will impact your life and your families with my love and power. Know that I love you deeply and long to enter your home to enact a wondrous transformation. I stand at your threshold, calling out to you. Will you open your heart and home to me? allowing me to infuse your life with something extraordinary, powerful, and divinely supernatural. I have seen your struggles, and I assure you, scarcity will never plague your home or family. I will bless your household with an outpouring of abundant blessings. For years, you've shown unwavering faithfulness through prayer, fasting, and tears. You have consistently prioritized me in your actions and thoughts. Now the time has come for you to harvest the fruits of your devotion. I will infuse your home with abundance, joy, encouragement, and health. Trust in my word, for I am committed to fulfilling every promise I have made to you. Prepare for a profound transformation. Let go of past habits of worry and despair. Along with my blessings come wisdom, strength, and the insight needed to make prudent choices and steward my gifts wisely. What you receive will not only enrich you, but also extend as blessings to others. Remain thankful and faithful, for I am reshaping your life, readying you for a future brimming with countless opportunities. For a long time, you sowed seeds of faith in your heart, and wherever you went, I saw you endure great difficulties and complex trials. Yet you never doubted my power, Never doubted that I was by your side. That's why you triumphed. You believed in me. And for that reason, I bestowed my grace and mercy upon you. My grace and mercy have poured down upon you. And today, with my mighty hand, I shall make all these seeds you've planted bear abundant fruit in your life and in the lives of those around you. The time has come to harvest the fruits of your faithfulness. For what I shall bring to your home is infinitely greater than you believe you deserve. You deserve the best and even more. Your faith is precious, and your humble and sincere attitude will carry you far. Prepare yourself, for I shall open new doors, introduce you to new places, and bring abundance to your home. I love you. Do not fear. 
Your life is in my hands. Do not heed the bad news. Do not open your soul's door to the insults of tongues that attack you. Do not believe all the things said about you. Your enemies seek to instill fear, to control your life, your destiny, and your heart, to divert you from the divine plan designed for you, to rob you of the blessings that belong to you. So when you receive insults, when they speak ill of you, when they seek to slander you, hold fast to my love and my word. Seek my presence and spend time with me so you can pour out your heart. I urge you not to let these trials dampen your faith and love for me. I am actively reshaping your environment, lifting the burdens that weighed you down, and uprooting the negative emotions that had anchored in your heart, obstructing your path. You are reborn, your spirit rejuvenated into a life free from depression, loneliness, resentment, and envy. Your soul and mind are now brimming with faith, optimism, strength, and joy. Your transformation will astonish even your adversaries, who will find themselves perplexed and unable to unsettle or harm you. They will witness how you clung steadfastly to my word, your belief in me growing stronger than their baseless scorn. The pains that once hurt and wounded you have dissipated. The worries that once shook your faith have vanished. Embrace a new day filled with peace and joy. Accept and trust in this change. Even if it's not immediately visible to your eyes, deep down, you feel the transformation. You sense the difference within you. My supernatural presence is enveloping you, showering you with all my love and affection. Remember, you are not frail. You are fortified with strength. You are not a failure. You are triumphant. You are not vanquished. You have risen empowered by my might. Now, a conqueror, affirm with your whole heart your belief in me. I am here to reassure you that you are never alone. Yesterday's tears shed over sudden tribulations are transforming into today's strength and resilience. Things did not go well. You were betrayed and abandoned by people you thought loved you. They turned their backs on you when you needed them most. And you are sad. And I understand. But I have come to tell you that your tears, your weeping, have reached heaven. My holy throne where your future is decided, where all diseases are healed, where your problems are resolved, and where I can console you in your distress. You are not alone. I have not abandoned you. Though those in whom you trusted have distanced themselves, I remain by your side, loving you more each day. And it shall always be so. You must live with confidence, knowing that I am willing to listen. And by the power of my blood, you can access my heavenly throne directly. Here with me, you can bring your petitions. I am willing to listen to you with patience and love, just as a good friend would. I do not ask you to stop crying. It is better to weep and let it all out. Release all that hurts you from your soul so that I can fill you with my peace. But there is something I must warn you about. After your tears come joy and great happiness because the time has come to bless you. You are ready. You can now appreciate what I am giving you. All the things you have gone through have been preparing you for this long-awaited time. It is time for the windows of heaven to open and enormous blessings to rain down upon you. Even in the midst of silence, you shall feel my peace. And it does not matter if people leave because I am with you to embrace and comfort your soul. You are growing stronger every day. You are getting to know me better, seeking my face and my word. To me, that means you are loyal, wise, and intelligent. As you close your eyes today and reflect on my words, feel my love wrapping around and healing you. Know that you're never alone. My presence fills your soul with joy, paving the way for your success. I'm ready to unlock the door to magnificent blessings for you. But listen to me fully without letting doubts interrupt you. Your hard-won battles haven't been for nothing. The fruits of your faith and resilience are close at hand. I see all you've been through and understand the depths of your heart. Your quest isn't for fleeting wealth or fame. You're fighting a noble fight, striving only for what's necessary to uplift your loved ones. To rise from hardship, you care deeply for those you love. 
and I intend to shower you with blessings. My plan is to open the heavens and rain down true blessings, filling your life with the abundance you need, freeing you from strife, and granting you peace. Believe in me and take action. Stand up with resolve and continue your efforts. Rest when needed, but rise again full of vigor. Work hard. Be brave. Approach each day with unwavering spirit and joy. Even when things don't go as planned or when others try to cause you distress. Let us persist in our plan on those challenging days as well. Rise with fortitude when you face those adversaries. Offer them a smile. Be patient and extend a helping hand if they thirst for water or require aid. Do so judiciously, employing your intelligence. Refrain from revealing your life or weaknesses lest you furnish them with the means to betray and harm you. Show them love, but also reveal your character and all that you have learned from me. You shall demonstrate to them. Do not associate with the malign. Do not disclose your plans. Do not receive. Listen or partake in slander against anyone. These adversaries shall despair when they realize there is no way to make you stumble from your path. I shall remove them. Our plan is not yet complete. You shall continue to advance with faith, enthusiasm, and effort until I decree otherwise. At that moment, you shall comprehend so much. You shall stand before a colossal gate, and behind it, you shall discover marvelous blessings. Tell me that you believe and make this commitment to come into my presence daily and commence with this plan this very moment. My dear child, you are exceedingly brave. Rise with faith, for you shall triumph. You have already given me thanks today for another day of life. What do you await? It costs you nothing to part your lips and express your gratitude in your own words. I am well acquainted with your needs even before you voice them. Just trust in me and spend a moment in tranquility. Seek a moment of silence and ponder upon all the reasons for which you can express gratitude on this day. Your life, your family, your health, the air you breathe, the sustenance upon your table, the roof over your head, my supernatural protection enveloping your home, my warrior angels who encamp and stand guard, who watch over your dreams and stand ready for battle. There are countless reasons for you to feel blessed. You possess so many beautiful motives to cling to life, and you must daily contemplate them so that your mind is filled with virtuous thoughts, and your eyes are always open to witness my goodness in your pathways. Feeling the security that I hold your destiny in my hand, I reside in a grateful heart that acknowledges its need for me, that seeks me with faith and hope, for it knows it is greatly blessed. At times, I perceive your worries concerning the events that transpire, but this is natural. Do not fret over it. You bear the burdens of your responsibilities, wishing for everything to go well, for provision in your home, health for your family, and for peace and stability to remain unthreatened. Yet there are times of darkness when gratitude slips your mind. Whispers of the adversary creep in, planting impure thoughts, turning worries into fears, surrounding you with lies, and escalating fear into panic and despair. I observe and wait for you to raise your arms in defiance, to speak the words that will send the enemy fleeing. Be thankful for your life, your family, your health, and all that you have and are. Your genuine faith and a heart full of gratitude are your armor, keeping you strong and resilient in challenging times. As you walk through difficult trials, know that I will be right there with you waiting to hear your voice. I long to hear your first utterances of the day, words brimming from a soul full of thankfulness, gratitude for life, for each new day. In the heavens, blessings are ready, bearing your name. Trust me wholeheartedly, for in both heavenly and earthly realms, circumstances are aligning for your good. I have given the unwavering command for you to receive abundant provision, freedom from debt, supernatural wisdom, and blessings specially prepared for your family and yourself, the divine inheritance that is rightfully yours. You are not a product of chance. I loved you before you existed. I have prepared many beautiful things for you. Foremost among them is my eternal love. 
I loved you when you were distant, and I continued to love you when you returned to me. If you think that because you occasionally falter, I become angry and distance myself from you, you are mistaken. Your mistakes do not frighten me. I shall not discard you for your sins. You always approach me filled with pain and repentance. Speaking the truth, I know that you love me. And if you lie, I understand your heart and your reasons. I cherish your sincerity. Others wear a mask of perfection and holiness. They come into my presence to accuse those who are different or do not believe as they do. But you are not one of those who criticize everyone and believe themselves to be righteous. Your spirit is gentle, your demeanor kind, your thoughts pure. Even when you fall, you shall rise with confidence and faith. Let no one judge you, for in this world, no mortal has the authority to do so as long as you stand firm in your faith. When you come into my presence each day with a humble heart and a willingness to listen and learn from me, I will bless your efforts abundantly. I know that material possessions are of little concern to you. Your true desire is for blessings and protection for your family. Fear not, for I will provide these and much more. I am preparing you, so when opportunities arise, you will confidently step through the doors. As you listen now, miraculous events are unfolding in the supernatural realm. New people and opportunities are entering your life, bringing challenges that will turn into blessings peace and provision through your faith and patience the greatest of these blessings my unwavering love is already yours believe in me have faith and find comfort in my embrace i am in control of your life there is no need for fear i am protecting you and watching over you at all times feel my presence each morning as you wake do not be swayed by distractions Instead, come and listen to my word. Let my spirit assure you that I have everything under control and that you must have faith in me. Do not fear adversity, for with me by your side, nothing and no one can harm you. Many of the problems that trouble you today will be resolved more swiftly than you anticipate. At the right time, all the answers you seek shall arrive. As you pray, I am paving your path scripting your story. Nothing eludes my wisdom and will. I am opening the door to the blessings you fervently requested in your deepest prayers. I am increasing your faith. I am here to uplift and guide you towards a new life, a fresh beginning where everything will be different. Do not concern yourself with what others think of you. Hold your head high and live your life with faith and dignity. Envious people will always speak of the poison they carry in their souls but only my thoughts of you should matter. I believe you to be a wonderful individual with a pure and sincere heart. Place my words in your mind when people attack you. Seek refuge in my love. I have been by your side throughout all your battles, aware of every fall, every defeat, every victory, and every hardship. Now is the time to triumph, to elevate your life even higher. Leave behind the old battles and enter a new era of success and renewal. This is where I transform your life, and a new story begins for you. Allow me to guide you along a new path of blessings and wisdom. I give you my love and peace to soothe your soul and mind. As you receive them, I will open the heavens to fill your hands with blessings. I will inscribe my word on your heart so your steps remain steadfast. Never stray from this love that envelops you. Forgive yourself for your mistakes. You are human, and you may falter. I am a God of mercy. I accept your repentance and will rescue you even from the deepest abyss. My blessings are far greater than any material wealth. The things I have in store for you are more valuable than all the riches this world can offer. If I assure you that I will open the heavens for you, accept my promise with faith and reply, I believe in you. Treat my words with the gravity they deserve for this is no trivial matter. My love for you is evident, not hidden. My affection for you is clear, not a mystery. Step outside, look up at the sky, breathe in the air, feel the warmth of the sun's touch. These are my gifts to you, my way of expressing I love you. 
and I am always with you. Countless times I have guarded you, saving you from the brink of death, liberating you from darkness and falsehood. You began this year with enthusiasm and aspirations for many noble endeavors. Now, as you encounter challenges and trials, do not falter. Keep moving forward. Your dreams will come to fruition. You have a destiny to fulfill. And I wish to demonstrate my love and power through you. I am imbuing you with my Holy Spirit daily, enhancing your spiritual awareness. Soon, you will perceive beyond appearances, discern people's true intentions, and gain profound wisdom. Your intelligence will soar, almost as if by supernatural means. You will impact many lives and assist them, exhibiting my teachings through your actions. Let others observe the impact of a life lived in belief of my power. Open your hands for the immense blessings that await. Embrace them with diligence and faith. The heavens are unfolding in your favor at this very moment. However, I urge you never to stray from my side. Declare your love and faith in me with your heart, promising to stay true until the end. Dismiss the anxieties that plague you. Entrust everything to me. I will dispel your fears and anxieties. I will cover you with my love and reveal what I can do in your life today with my power. This day will be different. You will witness a transformation in your surroundings and experience many changes in your life, your family, and people's attitudes towards you. You will see how individuals smile when touched by my powerful presence within you. They will feel me, and you will witness their surprise as you greet them with friendship and joy. Today, I'm filling you with abundant wisdom and a strong determination to fulfill the desires of your heart. I know how much you need happiness. That's why I'm telling you this. You must believe me. I am attentive to your feelings and everything that happens to you. I want to protect you from further harm, strengthen your character, and help you rise with courage so no one can humiliate you. Change your attitude. Put a smile on your face. Come and pray every day trusting that I will assist you in all things. Celebrate this love that I am giving you. When you praise and worship me, my presence surrounds you. Your worries flee, and you are filled with my spirit. Celebrate and rejoice despite the problems. Smile and sing. Offer your hands in worship if asked why you are celebrating. Say it's because God is with you. Many may not understand, but that should not concern you. My mighty armies will aid you in battle when you raise your hands and surrender. When you bow your face and your heart yields. When you decide to give me everything that hinders you. And when you cling to trust in me, you desire to change. And I want to give you a new hope, a new heart. Soon, you will see how I am covering you with my love. Amen. My child, subscribe to the channel now. Share this video with your five contacts.